This hair did not turn out the way that I hoped. Uh, the color isn't anything that I hoped. There's actually two colors in here. There's an orange and then there's a, supposedly a cranberry. It didn't come out the way I'd hoped. So hopefully this box gets a better review. Let's hope. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cappa. Today's coffee mug says Mama Cita Bonita. Mama, pretty mama. That's me. My daughter picked me this up for us this past weekend when we went grocery shopping and we spent an extraordinary amount of money on food for Christmas. The thing is, is our paychecks are every two weeks now. So we do a big, huge lump shopping for one week with both hers and our paychecks. And then we do small um, produce things the alternate week if we can. Um, but this was also for Christmas and I start Christmas baking before our next check. So we had to get everything for the Christmas baking before the next check. And I was freaking out in the store. <laughs> I had a right to. We spent a, we spent a lot. A lot of money in the store, in these stores, I should say, stores, because we usually go to the farmer's market to pick up our meat and things like that, and then we go to Kroger to pick up everything else, and it was astonishing the amount we spent, plus I had to get a bunch of stuff on Amazon because Kroger and the farmer's market didn't carry it, so yeah, I by the time we got done with Kroger, I was just... I was ready to cry, <laughs> seriously ready to cry. So she got me this pretty mug um, to help. Uh, one of the things we're going to be doing, like I said, it's an astonishing amount of money, especially since we are not making Christmas dinner this year. Uh, we, I am making, um, I am making cookie boxes, treat boxes for everyone. This is one of the various designs we have. They are so adorable. And uh, we'll be using these for the treat boxes. And um, so that's what I'm doing this year. Uh, we usually have our dinner and treats as part of our Christmas gifts anyway, because they are normally very expensive. This year just blew me out of the water. Just blew me out of the water. People better appreciate these treat boxes. They're getting two. One is going to have cookies in it and the other one's going to have other treats in it. So anyway, Enough with the Christmas cookie treats, right? It's Christmas. This this is a Christmas box. We're doing Christmas. It's Christmas. Anyway, we're going to continue on. This is supposed to be about ice cream, not me freaking out in the store, which I did. But anyway, in our Mamacita Bonita mug is the last tea from my last sips by. This is the Cassadian Kas Cooler. From Beach House Trees, this has hibiscus, rose hips, orange peel, lemongrass, lemon verbena, and cinnamon chips. So that's what that came like. You guys got to see this. It's a chunky tea. It's a nice chunky tea. And is she a purple? And she has, because of the lemon stuff in there, she has done a number to the milk. It's not horrible, but it's a beautiful purple. It's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and give this a sip so we can go ahead and get started because I am. It smells pretty. That music in the background better not be, um, better not get me in trouble here on YouTube. Anyway, sip. Oh, that's. There's a lot of sweetness in there that is not my sugar. And hibiscus, rose hips, orange peel, lemongrass, and lemon verbena. I'm getting almost a berry flavor, and I am not getting the cinnamon chips at all. But you know how it goes. We might taste them in 10 minutes. It is supposed to have a five to six minute steep time. It has not been that long. So we will go ahead and get into this box and into this look. If you're interested, just keep on watching. So if you're regular around here, you know how this works. We are going to open the box before we get started. So let's go ahead and open our box. Um, I'm. This is Christmas. This is better be a good box. Better be a good box. 
ice cream. Happy holidays, it says on the card, which I'm going to set to the side because it shows all the things. Although, there's five in here. There's five. There's five. Okay, so first, first we have an Ofra mini lip set, Gone Mia. Um, are these all mats? Probably. Mia are so flow hometown inspired liquid lipstick shades that range from the perfect brick red to a sunny reddish pink made with our comfort first formula right here in the USA. These lippies are a variety of long lasting without drying out lips. So they're matte, which means they're not particularly my favorite format. I prefer a, um, a soft matte or um, a cream, stuff like that. That's, you know, they don't dry down as much. At any rate, so they have Sanibel, which is a rose nude, Miami Fever, which is a burnt terracotta orange, Aventura, which is a true cool brick red, and Wind Winwood, which is a reddish pink. So though there's those. I will pick one of them to use in our try-on today. Next we have ooh, another Zisa. This is Zisa. Collabing with the British Museum. What are you? I can never read this. It's a highlighter pressed powder. Hopefully it's better off than the, um, the uh, planetary one that they did. Which was cute, but both of the ones I got were broken. So, I'm gonna, this one is nice and firmly wrapped with... Safety seals. I haven't heard that one in a long time, have we? Okay. I do like this box. This box is pretty. In the trash. Go off my fingers. I just, I just love. That's very, that's very appropriate for something with a museum. Does this have a color listed anywhere? A Museum of the World for the World. That would be the British Museum. Doesn't say a color, so. Nope. Nope. No color. Come on. Me trying to open things. The boxes. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> oh, they put extra packing in there. That's why. All right. Oh, okay. So they kept that gold box or rose gold box um, packaging type thing on the actual packaging of the product. This is a really nice um, packaging. It's 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 plastic. It's got a cover on it. There we go. It is plastic, but it has a mirror on the inside. I'm getting all the pieces off here. It's heavy duty plastic. It's it's not. I mean, it's obviously it's not metal or anything, so it doesn't have that kind of weight. But it has a really nice weight. They have the Cupid on the, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is awfully bright in here right now. By the time we're done, the sun will be gone. <laughs> I'm gonna get some off the side here. That is nice and soft. It's a pretty champagne color. pretty I can use that I have no problem with that that's nice that's nice okay there's looks to be a fairly large palette in here but moving on we have from Baybella two lip perfection lips uh, lip liners 
I like the fact that everything is safety sealed. <laughs> okay, so we're, we, we won't do the pink. I'm sure the red will be enough for us to know. Assuming I can get the safety seal off of here because yes, indeed, it is safety sealed. You guys don't know, but we didn't even plan that. That just started to be a thing for me and my daughter. And uh, I kind of miss it too. I kind of miss having her on here on the regular. You guys still get to see her once a month. It just it used to be us opening boxes and safety sealing. <laughs> All right, so this is in the color Coral. It feels pretty smooth. Feels like a it feels like a lip pencil, a lip liner. That'll be fine. And then we have back here, y'all know I always try to leave the palette for last. We also have from Zisa their Living Colorfully Color Liquid Eyeliner. Didn't we just get this? I hope this is in a different color. I think the last one I got was red, right? Kind of a reddish. Zisa must have had a bunch of extras. Please be in a different color. Open this box. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's being stubborn. There we go. We're getting rid of our safety seal. Oh, kids are home and screaming. Kids are home and screaming. Okay, so this is also safety sealed. Do you have a color listed? Child, you sound like you're dying. Please stop. Please stop. The neighborhood kids. We've had some issues with the neighborhood kids. We've had less issues since we found their parents. They were all acting like, oh, we can get away with this shit. No, we went and talked to the parents and said, you know what? <laughs> you need to get them to stop doing this shit. All right, let's cross our fingers that it's a different color, right? <gasps> it's white. Ah, I like that. I like that it is a different color and it's white. This is going to be interesting to use. I'm going to have to figure this one out. That's going to be fun. All right, so last thing in our box, obviously, is our palette. I'm telling you guys, I'm thinking about getting the bag, too, at some point, because they put in different palettes. And I'm a big palette hog. <laughs> I just love the palettes. All right, so this is the Chantico Hearth Palette. Nice packaging. And of course the cover of the palette looks the same as the box. I'm a little concerned about this. These kind of colors kind of um, mean neutrals, which means when we do our try on today, I'm probably going to have to bring in other palettes because you all know me. I like some color, I like some color. But let's take a look, let's take a look. Here we go, here we go. <gasps> oh, now that is not what I was expecting. I can live with that. Look at that green. Look at both of those greens. Oh, that's nice. You guys have me hoping that this is gonna stick to my eyes. Please, it has a nice mirror. I, oh, okay, so when I point it this way, it looks green. When I'm looking down at it, it looks blue. We're gonna grab that color. We Oh, that's soft. And we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab the white. Let's get this green over here. Ooh. And I'm gonna get this color Luna. You know what, I'm gonna put amber on my thumb. Oh my goodness. Luna looks problematic, but that might, it's probably a skin tone issue. Okay, so here we go. Oh my God, look at that, that's beautiful. 
Okay, so that's the white. That's a problem. Let me clean up my fingers real quick, which of course I don't have a rag here, but let me clean up my fingers real quick. I'm gonna grab a couple more of these mats. I wanna take a look more at these mats. So, yeah, let's take a look more at these mats. Okay, you're a pain in the ass. All right, all right, all right, cleaning the fingers. Okay, so some of these shimmers do not want to come off. I'm kinda disappointed that the pinky one is, is Practically a transparent glitter. There isn't a lot on there. All right, fingers dry. Let me think. Let's see. Let's try some of these colors that should look good on me. We're going to get this dark green. We're going to go ahead and get this one shimmer ember. We're going to get earth and this gold color kindling and see how they do. They look like they might be a bit better, all of them. Okay. Oh, I'm not mad at that mustard. They look a little dusty. They might require some building, but I could probably get them to work. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Here we go, folks. All across. Will they make it? What do you think? Here we go. Hmm. Even some of those glittery shimmers had a have some staying power. I'm not mad at that. Of course, it all that white doesn't white liner doesn't want to come off. All of that will depend on how they actually work on the eyes and whether or not, you know, I try not to hold it against it, but uh, there's enough brands that do withstand my eyes that if this one doesn't. It probably won't end up on a favorite list, but it is overall a very pretty palette. Uh, the color scheme is not what I expected, but it works well for the, the topic, the theme. I'm not unhappy with it. It's not completely browns. It has kind of a Christmas, a warm Christmas in front of the fire kind of feel, right? All right, so let's see what the prices are. So we have... The Hearth Palette, this is $40. The Highlighter is $26. That's fairly reasonable for the most part. It's a little small, but Ziza seems to be, a, you know, one of those companies. So, The Lip Set from Ofra is about $20. The Liquid Liner is $24. And the Lip Liner Duo is six. I don't know if that's six each or six total. Probably six each. So that would be 12. So we're looking at 66, 86, 100, 106 to 112, depending on whether or not it's $6 a piece or $6 total for these. Bay Bella doesn't seem to be very expensive. So I'm not unhappy with this box. Uh, I would have liked to see a bit more brightness in a palette for Christmas, you know, the gold and the, all that, but it still works. It's just, what can I say? I'm a glitter dragon, babe. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get started and I will be right back and we will go ahead and give this stuff a try. So we are up close and personal and I've got a plan. All right, so we're gonna start with this color kindling under the brow. And I'm since this white doesn't seem to have a lot of um, actual pigmentation, we're gonna use that to lighten it up near the brow. And we're gonna start with this color closer to the crease, move up, do what that usual thing that I do to get that fading gradient up here. And then we'll just lighten it up uh, right under the brow with this color marshmallow. So here we go with the kindling with a fluffy brush. And starting at the crease. Oh, that came in nice. That said hello on that corner. Now I did put, 
powder on, but it seems to be having a bit of problem blending out a little bit, tiny bit. Just grab a little bit more down by the crease, moving upward. Trying to get it on up there without getting it too dark. Just want to make sure it's there. And that spot on the outer side just wants to stay. Okay, so that'll do for now. I'm going to take a different brush, grab some of this marshmallow. It's hard to tell on a white tip brush if white is coming up. And we're going to start under here. Yeah, see, this has no pigmentation, really. Next to nothing. It is lightening things up. Giving me more of that gradient, but you can see I'm having to use quite a bit of it to get it in there. It is blending. And as we add more layers, it does seem to be doing a much better job of getting that color in. But I'm having to pick up a lot to make it work. So not the most pigmented color in the box. My understanding is whites can be difficult. So not sure if they're as difficult as pink as, as purples, but they can be difficult. All right, so in our usual fashion, I am going to attempt to use this shimmer on a brush, but I'm not holding my breath. I'm not. The, the formula didn't feel that way, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna use our little flat brush. Give that a little bit of a spritz. And we're going to pick up this color amber for our inner corner and we're going to take it about two-thirds the way across over half but we'll see if this brush picks this thing up i'm actually getting stuff on the brush does that mean it'll apply well not necessarily but we'll see oh this is doing fine Okay, I'm surprised. And the shine is good. I'm gonna get the brush just a little bit more wet. The color is a surprise. Whether or not it'll hold is a totally different story, but it is a surprise that the, it picked up on the brush so well. It really is. That is a nice formula that does that. Nomad has that kind of formula for some of their shimmery stuff. Okay, we're going to go to about there. Not mad at that at all. It's pretty. It's on the lid. And I just had to use a brush. I'm impressed. All right, so we are getting another flat brush that I'm going to get slightly damp. Let's hope this satiny uh, shimmer, less glittery shimmer, works just as well. This is, we're gonna be using ember on that outer point, outer corner. Oh, yep, she's picking up really beautifully too.
That's nice. It's not nearly as red on my eye as it is in the pan, although in the pan I will say it is not red red, so it's not horrible. It is blending into that amber really nicely. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. Okay, so now we need a couple of mats. And I thought I had an idea, but now I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to try, I think it says Orizonte. I'm going to try that for the point, And then we'll use this color Earth to deepen things up. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Uh, it's always uh, strange when you're working with a new palette. All right, so I'm using a slightly fluffier brush. It's not fully fluffy brush. Um, it is a flat brush. It just has more fluff to it as a flat, flat brush. And we're gonna go along this edge. You all knew I needed some color, right? I am seeing a bit of glitter flakes down here. She's getting on there. Because of the yellow we already have on there, she's coming up a bit more of a grassy green than what's in the pan already. The pan is more of a pine or a foresty green. This is coming up nice and light greenish. Trying to be careful as I apply it. I'm probably gonna have to put in a bit more color of, of the amber closer to my uh, crease because the way my eyes are, this green is already getting in there. That. I am Buffing out this outer edge. And then making sure to bring it all the way down. That's pretty green. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last but not least, at least for now, getting one of my pointy, pointy brushes that I really love. And we're gonna grab some of that earth and put that in the crease. If this doesn't work, we'll get the shimmery blue. Maybe we'll do them both anyway. I really wanna use that shimmery blue green. But let's grab some of this earth and see if it'll be nice and deep. We might put some of that shimmery blue green over some of it anyway. I wanna use that color so bad. But the idea that came to my head just didn't have room for it. Okay, I feel like I'm having a little trouble picking some of that up. Okay. So. Oh, she's not very dark. Maybe that's... She's in there. You can kind of see her in there. Okay, we're going to bring her out. So these two colors are fairly close together somehow. And I think that's why it it's there, but it feels like it's not. Does, does that make sense? It is there. It's just feeling like it's not. And you know, I'll leave it about a third of the way down here. Not sure if you see it. So this is what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to take this fluffier brush. 
And we're gonna buff out these edges so they are not so stark, just along the top of that dark green that we just put in. I have music going, I hope it's not gonna do anything here. All right, and then I'm gonna grab this other brush and try to pick up some of this and see if I can put that over that. We don't necessarily need that to be darker. It's just nice to get that accent in there. I may need to get this brush wet. wet. Yeah, let's get this brush wet. Ouch. All right. I suspect the type of brush I'm using is part of the reason why I'm having trouble picking some up. But we're gonna take it about halfway to the halfway mark. And then bring her out a little bit. And I plan to use her on the bottom. Okay, so I don't know how well that shows up for you guys. This is one of those like, okay, so we added a little shimmer on top there. It's like one of those little details that is best seen in person. But I'm not mad at how that came out either. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, so I am going to go do my other eye. We will come back briefly to do the highlighter because you want to see that. And then we'll come back at the end and do the lipstick. And we'll go from there. See you in a few. Okay, so I forgot about the white eyeliner. We're going to go ahead and try it. I went ahead and put that blue and that lighter green from the, um, from the palette down first because... I didn't want the colors to wipe out the white eyeliner. Now, to be fair, <laughs> for the next video, I may go over the white eyeliner with black. But at this point, we want to see how well this works. So we're going to uh, go ahead and line this eye for you and see how it works and how pigmented it actually is in use rather than just on the back of the hand. And then I will do the other eye and we, I will finish up up to the cheeks and the lips and then we'll be back after that but let's go ahead and give this a shot and see how it does see how this does it's gonna be white all right so well this is going on nicely I like the tip. Yeah, you can see that. You can see that. That's doing nice. And then I usually do a little bit up here and then come out. And we here, I'm having a little bit of problem with control, but that's me. And then I fill this in. Now, because we have all this other color in here, it's actually um, coming up slightly colored. I'm gonna go a little bit higher, get more of an arch there where that is. Make sure I have that point down there. And now we are starting to lose some of that shimmer in the inner corner, in the crease mostly. On this side, it's a little bit bigger. But we're going to go ahead and line along here. Get all of that in. Now the tip is getting a bit colored from the shadow, so I will probably have to clean it. And then I go ahead and do up like this a little bit. 
So that's a decent liner. You can see that. That's not horrible. All right, so I'm going to finish the other eye, finish the rest of the face up until we do the, the highlighter and the lips, and then we'll be back. So I fixed up the inner corners from the um, stuff that was coming out because of my eyes. And I, do you guys remember the pigment that we got, the loose pigment that we got? I believe it was in November's box, this little pigment. And I said it looked more like a topper. Well, I put it on the inner corners and it seemed to do fine in there. It's, it's kind of a, you know, uh, more of a purpley thing, but it still works. So the next thing we're going to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and do our highlighter. I've already put my primer on my lips so that um, we can just go straight to the lip stuff. The lip stuff. So we're gonna try this highlighter. I'm using my all over highlighter powder from a complex culture. This brand, unfortunately, is no longer with us. It's really upsetting to me. Um, they have some beautiful brushes and it's just disappointing to see that they're gone. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this highlighter on here. Um, without the cat hair. I oh, hope. I'm not seeing it come up on the brush at all, so this will be interesting. I'll hold my hair out of the way. It's there. It's a very... It's a little bit disappointing is what it is. Maybe I need a different kind of brush. That does happen, so hold on a second. This bow gotchas, I guess, has a bit of a firmer bristles. Maybe that's what we need to bring out the shine. Well, if the bristles aren't doing it, the buildup is. I am getting a bit more shine now. I mean, I don't need, I don't necessarily want um, glow to the stars, glow to the moon type shine, but I do want it to be present in there. I think it's finally present. Let's do the other side with just this brush. It's pretty, it just needs a little bit of building. I honestly, I, I can't say I'm too surprised. Zisa has had very, for me, inconsistent um, products. Like the white is really neat and it works, but at the same time, I struggled to get it on this side because I had to clean the brush. Not necessarily Zisa's fault, but um, it was just harder to get it to show up on the left eye than it was on the right. So anyway, and we've had a few other things from them that it's been like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm a fussy bitch. What can I say? I'm a fussy dragon. There we go. I'm a fussy dragon. I like all my shimmer to sparkle and glow. That works fairly well. It's an okay highlighter. I think the I think like a lot of the stuff that I've seen of theirs in the past, the packaging and the the kind of artwork they use on the packaging um, actually is what makes the brand rather than the quality of the brand, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, try our lip product. Uh, we're going to use this lip liner. I don't necessarily think that's gonna match the red that I wanna use from here. I think the red in here is darker. And I'm probably going to go over it with my e.l.f. lip tint lip oil in the Berry Kiss. This is my favorite lip oil. I love it. Love it. I could have stocking stuffers of it. All right, so which one of these am I trying to get? I'm trying to get this bricky color. 
which is kind of why I'm thinking I want to use that lip oil over it because of all the colors this is the closest to a red they have and since we're doing the holiday stuff because it's a holiday box it's a December box we should holiday it up right Okay, all right. I can do that. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm making it so I can't see what I'm doing here. That's what it is. <laughs> Put on our glasses real quick so we can see what we're actually applying. That's why I always have everything like right up close to my face, right? So it is applying well. I'm honestly not surprised about that. It actually is a decent color. Anyway, what I was saying is I'm not surprised about that. Ofra is, was first known for their highlighters and then got known for their lip colors because um, they were matte, but they weren't drying and they were one of, considered one of the better formulas. So, trying to get the rest of this paper off of here. Why? Because of the ADHD and stuff, it annoys me. I don't know. I'm sure you all know people like that. Just have to have everything just so. So this dragon does too. All right, so that's down. All right. So you can see a little bit of that color along the edge. You can see the line a bit on the edge. Um, it's doing what a lip pencil is supposed to do. I'm not mad at it. I am going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. I feel it's drying down just a little much for me. And it adds just a little bit of depth. It is a tint, so it doesn't really do much in terms of color. But it does add a little bit of depth, so I like that. Anyway, I actually still have, as you probably know from seeing the beginning of this video, something else to do to finish preparing. And then we will do all the things and talk about it. Be right back. Okay, so a quick warning before we get into this review. <laughs> Siren is it at the end of her heat madness. So you're going to hear her in the background. She's been quiet all day and now there she is. We, we plan to get her fixed in the new year. But anyway, I like my kittens to be a little bit, I mean, over nine months before I get them fixed. Sometimes they have to wait longer because of money, but generally over nine months makes me happy. Younger than that, I, I just feel it's a little too young. Anyway, so you're going to probably hear her now and then in the background being loud and whiny and trying to call all the boys to her yard. Um, but uh, hopefully we can just now focus on the box and, and, and maybe she'll be quiet. Of course, she's now going to make a liar out of me, right? All right, moving on. How do I feel about this box? Um, overall, I'm pretty content with it. There's there's a few tweaks, let's say. But let's talk about the individual items, and then we'll talk about the whole thing overall. And um, those individual items will give you the idea of the tweaks that I wouldn't, wouldn't mind. Um, so uh, let's start with the easy stuff. Easy stuff, lip liners. The lip liners are lip liners. It, it did a line, it did, did what it was supposed to do. I'm not, lip liners is one of those things that I don't feel like you need to spend a lot of money on. You know, you see these, uh, you know, $25, $35 um, lip liners. You're paying for the brand name at that point. You, you don't need to spend that much on a lip liner. They all do the same thing. Uh, there are a few that I've run into in the past that have been um, problematic. You know, like they're dry. The ones that I'm thinking of off the uh, top of my head are the Crown. I don't know if anybody else still gets Crown. Does Crown still exist? Probably. 
Uh, we used to get crown brushes in some of our stuff, and they brand they had some makeup. Uh, crown never impressed me. Their lip liners were always dry and scratchy. Their eyeliners were dry and scratchy. Um, they were definitely a, they are, if they're still out there, a, a budget brand. So some of them can go very wrong, but in general, I find most places do pretty well with their lip liners. So these, these just did what they, the one I use just did what it's supposed to do. And it gave me a line around my lip and sharpened the edges of my, you know, the lipstick where I had the lipstick in and that's what it's supposed to do. I'm, I'm not unhappy with it, but, um, I'm not, wasn't expecting it to do anything more. They aren't magic folks. Lots of, uh, muttering to say that, right? But you know, uh, the one color is nice. It's kind of a red color. I don't know about this one. This is sort of a pinky color. It's very smooth. It's very creamy. I can use that around some of my lip lip colors too, um, but they're they're nothing. They, these feel feel like fillers, and I don't mind having fillers in my box if the rest of the box is pretty much worth it. And I feel that most of the rest of this box has been pretty good, uh, not fantastic, not worth a hundred dollars to me. But that's um, you know the value to me is a little different because of what I perceive as being useful. But uh, they're lip liners, and that's that's okay. We're going to move on from the lip liners. We don't need ten minutes on the lip liners. The Ofra Mini, I'm not surprised. It did what it's supposed to do as well. Nice and comfortable, even though I ended up putting up gloss. Uh, that is a personal preference. I like to be able to, my lips. And even though the Ofras are very comfortable on the lips, and this one's drying down to be very comfortable, it was not drying down to be dry and make it feel like your lips were cracking or anything like that. Um, it's the traditional Ofer formula, which is nice. Uh, but even that, if I can't comfortably move my lips against each other, I need a gloss. I'm just not a matte girl. Uh, beyond that, I'm not mad at these. Um, I suspect one of these colors will end up going to my daughter. Um, it's a bit on the pale side for me, but we'll see. Because I can use any of the colors that I wouldn't normally wear as a... Um, as a color adjuster. I use pinks to bring down, uh, to lighten up some darker colors. I can use nudes to bring down some of the the really bright pinks and colors like that. So not mad at this and um, the value is not a surprise for me either. Okay, so the two Zisa items, honestly, I'm gonna have to find another use for this. I don't like it around my eyes like this. Um, it's not bad. It actually has very good color to it and it applied smoothly as you saw. Uh, it was more difficult on this eye because I had to clean off the tip. Uh, once the tip gets white, gets dirty like that, which is why I tend to use, um, gel markers on my inner, on my waterline. If I'm going to use anything that's white to try to brighten things up or clean things up, gel liners are just easier to clean up without losing product. When you clean these up, you lose product a little bit because you're squishing the, the color out of there. But um, other than that, I think, honestly, I think this should have been a blue or a green or not a red, but you know, just something bright, maybe even a purple, but a blue or a green at least to go with the Christmas theme. And I think it would have worked better than the white. I will find a use for this. I am thinking about getting back to my cake inspirations one of these days. And a white liner like this would be great for putting in snowflakes or doing other things like that. And um, so I'm not mad at it. It's just for an eyeliner, it's not really gonna work for me. <laughs> I prefer having a darker color around my eyes to bring out my eyes, especially since the glasses tend to hide my eyes a lot. They're very, they've got thick glass and um, they're also got scratches and stuff. They're very old, but regardless, even if they were new, because of the um, the prescription I have, my eyes, eyes get very much hidden by my glasses. So I need darker colors to really bring them out and make it so you can see them. 
again, like I said, not mad at it, just I'm going to have to come up with a different use for it. The highlighter. Um, I have to admit, I'm mildly disappointed in the highlighter. It is a pretty champagne. Everybody has a champ. Everybody has a color like this. So for a highlighter like this, that's in a color that everybody has, it really needs to have a good glow. This is decent, but I had to build it up to get there. And um, like I said, the Zisa products tend to be inconsistent. And this is one of the ones to me that was inconsistent. I love the packaging. I'll likely keep it. I'm not horribly mad at it. I just think that um, if you're gonna bring something like this out, it needs to have more oomph than this one had. And uh, so I like it. I'm not blown out of the water by it. So the palette, I actually like the palette. Uh, however, I do have some minor nitpicky things. But let's go with, uh, first of all, I do like the fact that these this color, it did seem to stay on pretty well for a while, but once it fell apart, a lot of palettes I have had trouble with, they fall apart and then I can't fix them for some reason. Whatever it is with their formulas of their shimmers and um, um, double chromes or whatever, they do not apply well enough that I can really repair them. This one is repairable, so I'm okay with that. The palette is a good, uh, a small size that can fit in a purse. So if I feel like I want to wear this palette out one night, I'm not taking, you know, one of the monster palettes like, you know, um, Nomad is a bit big. Even the Muse is just a bit big. So uh, this kind of sized palette is really good to have on hand for me to put in my purse or whatever so that I can go ahead and do repairs when I need to. The one satiny shimmer, the uh, what is it? Ember, this color, um, I liked it. I thought it would be nicer if it was a deeper red, but beyond that, it really fit the palette and it does kind of look more of a... This is an orangey red. This has more of a blue tone to it. I can see what they were trying to do there. <clears throat> All of that said, I feel like this white was a throwaway color. This thing has no pigmentation. You saw that I had to work with it to even get it to lighten up this gold because there's just, there's nothing there. I think that they could have done another color in here. Um, a bluey silver, maybe. You know, we've got, we don't have a silver in here. Or maybe a gold, a real actual gold. I think one of these browns could have been just taken out. Um, element probably could have been taken out and made into a gold color. I think those would have given this more of a Christmas feel for me. Uh, it is hearth, so maybe they weren't aiming for Christmas. But these reds and greens tell me that maybe they were. So if you were aiming for Christmas, a silver and a gold would have been done a lot to bring that about. This brown I will never use. I know other people will use it. Other people love these kind of neutral colors, and that's fine. Um, but I just would have liked to see a gold or maybe a golden a golden brown or champagne brown, uh, gold or something like that in there. And then just don't even... this. I know what they were trying to aim for with this, but if it doesn't have pigment, why put it in the palette? It, and this doesn't have pigment. It was the disappointment in here. Everything else, as you saw, showed up beautifully. We used uh, pretty much everything except for the browns and the red. Yeah, I even used a little bit of this under the under eye. So everything else did wonderful. So this just, I don't even understand. It should have been something else in there. And that is a nitpicky thing. Uh, is this a brand I would buy from again? Probably. Chantico. And I know that they are, um, they often um, um, work with or collab with or provide products for uh, ice cream quite frequently. And, uh, but I'm now willing to take a look at their site and see what they have on there because of this palette. And some of the other stuff that I've gotten from them has been pretty good too. So, 
overall, I would say that this is probably about a four out of five for me. I will keep all of these and actually use them, which is a good plus. However, there were just some minor things in there. The white eyeliner, the uh, throwaway shade in the palette, the fact that uh, one of the more expensive items, the highlighter, just it needed work to build it up. Little things like that that brought down the value for me. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm, I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm probably going to... Um, going to use this look for another filming that I have to do and I'm probably going to use a Moira gold over this inner corner that's how much I really think that they should have had a gold in here that I'm, I'm actually going to adjust the look I haven't done the, that in a while I, I do it occasionally now but when you build up so much on you it, it can start looking horrible so um but that's how much I think that this should have had a gold or a silver in it either one of them would have been nice and I'm just going to probably put some gold in there to to kind of bring up the look a little bit. I might even find a little bit of red somewhere and I don't know if I can do anything. The red in there is not bad. Just, it's not really showing up against this, the uh, more um, pinky amber. It's not really showing up against very well. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I should find something else. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so that's it. What did you think about this particular ice cream bag? I would love to get your opinion down below. And in the meantime, that is it for the day. So we are going to sip our tea and get on out of here. Get on out of here. So this has been in here long enough, more than long enough, to reach its full, full potential. Now I'm getting the lemon. That's nice. I am not getting the cinnamon at all. He said cinnamon chips. It tastes like uh, your usual hibiscus lemon tea. There's, there's no zing from the cinnamon chips. I'm not mad at it. I'm just, if you're going to say there's going to be cinnamon chips, I would expect to taste cinnamon. It is also staining the inside of my cup. <laughs> anyway, uh, would I repurchase this? I'm going to say maybe. I'm going to say maybe. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for the day. I would really love it if you would go ahead and like and share and subscribe and comment down below. And in the meantime, I love my girls. I love my dragonettes. And I hope you have a good one.